right, so we're discussing Charlottesville today. Sad, but necessary. Um, and Charlottesville has really brought to the forefront the, the, the cultural war that is going on out there between two groups of anti-American collectivists, the alt-rights and what we'll call the alt-left. And it, it, it is only going to get worse because they feed off of each other. I don't know that the alt-right would have come to prominence if not for the alt-left and the alt-left's um, uh, uh, just nihilistic, anti-American and, and dominant uh, uh, presence and, and really dominance, particularly on American universities. Uh, this is not a case where, um, uh, you know, the left, where they both have the same kind of mouthpieces. The left clearly dominates uh, all the, the, the cultural elite, uh, universities and, and media and, and elsewhere, right? The response to it has been, the response to the nihilism, the response to the violence of the left, the response to the, to the advocacy of the left to bring about socialism in America, the response to Bernie Sanders and the ability of Bernie Sanders to do as well as he did was not, was not tragically for America a call for individualism, was not tragically for America a call for capitalism, was not tragically for America, a call for a return to the founding principles of this country. Instead, the response to Bernie Sanders, the alt-left, the dominance of the left at our universities, the dominance of the left, the dominance of the left of our media, the response has been a call for nationalism, a call for false patriotism, a call to build walls on our borders to keep those immigrants out. And don't give me, it's only against illegal immigrants. We know now, we know now that it's to stop all immigrants. What we got was not a call for the founding principles of America. What we call is an, it was to a, to a set of ideas that is as anti-American as the left is. And now the question is, now that it's laid out before us, the leftist nihilism, and the rightist authoritarianism, both that lead to authoritarianism, of course, and totalitarianism. Who are you going to go with? And my suspicion is then when it comes down to the American people, they are more likely to go right than they are to go left. Now, I hope they go in either direction. I still hope that there is in the American spirit the spirit of revolution, the spirit of the founders, the spirit of individualism, the spirit of capitalism, the spirit of individual rights. But to do that, we, those of us who believe in those things, who believe in freedom, who believe in liberty, who believe in individual rights, who believe in individualism, who believe in not judging other people based on the color of their skin or the way they look, but based on their character, we need to rise up. We need to rise up to fight both groups. We need to rise up to oppose both groups. And that means criticizing the right when the right deserves to be criticized. It means criticizing the left when the left need, needs to be criticized. And it means objecting to violence where they come from the left or from the right. It means standing and understanding and integrating what it really means to be an American, what the American ideology is so that we know what to fight for. And this is not a white nation. This is not a European nation. This is not a blood and soil nation. This is a nation built in the rejection, ultimately, of all those ideas. This is a nation that fought a civil war in order partially to reject those very ideas. This is a nation built on the ideas of freedom and liberty for the individual. This is a nation built on the ideas of the pursuit of happiness for the individual. A nation built on the idea that if we disagree with one another, the means to, to deal with that disagreement is debate and argument and human reason, not violence. And therefore, we must all rise up, not just against the fascists of left and right, 30. but for reason and individualism, for 
the real founding ideas of this country for an America we can all be proud of. All right, depressing, depressing world we live in sometimes. But there's a lot of good out there, and I believe in the end, we will Ten. win. All right, you've been listening to Ron Brooks Show on the Blaze Radio Five, Network. Hope to four, listen to you next week. Three, uh, two, talk to you then. One.